So now that we've built our gasifier, obviously the next part of this is to test out to see if we can get good gas production. So I've got a couple buckets full of chopped up wood here. As you can see, it's ready to go. Got another bucket of it right there. This is going to be the first load we drop in there. That's going to sit right down in the reduction zone, right down inside of here. That'll be the second load I put in there that's going to sit on top of the kind of the larger chunks. Then we're going to put newspaper, which you see a pile of there, on top of that, and we're going to get that started. So we're going to get this little pile here up to temperature, and then once that's got a bit of a cold bed going, we're going to start dumping in our larger buckets of material. All right, so here we go. First step, obviously, is to undo our safety latches here, open up the lid and rotate it out of the way. Then we're going to take our first load of wood I showed you, feed that in there, as much of it as I can get in there. Looks like a good fit. We're now going to grab a bunch of this and put it on that same thing, just like that. We're going to put some small starter sticks on top of that. Grab a little last of that and some newspaper. We're going to drop some newspaper in on top, a little more stick, some more newspaper, and there we go. That is now ready to light. So I'm going to go ahead, light up a piece of paper, get that down in there, shut the lid and turn on the fan and show you how well it works. All right, folks, so now we're ready to fire it up. I loaded it up a little bit earlier. I've been waiting for shadowing so we could see the flame from the wood gas a little bit better. It's a very clear flame. So it's gonna be hard to see. Uh, one of the things you see here is a piece of pipe ready to stick into place once we see a phase shift in the gas that's coming out of this pipe here. Phase shift means it's gonna go from kind of a bluish color, kind of your standard smoke color, to more of kind of an orange color, like a, a milky orange color. And that's gonna mean that we're into wood gas territory. And one thing about the wood gas is it needs to be cooled to become more dense or, and more flammable to get it to light. So once I see that, I'm gonna pick up this pipe I'm gonna stick it up over the end just like that. And down here, we're gonna go and light it on fire. I'm gonna move the camera so you can see that a little better. Here we go. So, let's go ahead and lift up the lid, turn on the fan. Let's see if it lights it nice and easy. Now you can see the smoke is coming out of there nice. It's not dying down. I'm starting to see a little phase shift in the smoke, so we're going to try one light up here. Now what I'm going to do is stick this pipe right up over that. Come down here. Light the torch. And watch the smoke disappear. So there you go, folks. There is wood gas burning. As long as I can keep this pipe cool enough. One of the problems here is I've got a very short radiator, obviously, so it's gonna be a little difficult to keep it cool enough. But there's the wood gas burning, and I can pull that away. You can see the smoke once again. Let me hit it with a torch just to light it. And you'll watch it all clear up in a nice flame down here. It's not quite perfectly there yet. Now that's wood gas. At this point, because it's unfiltered, you probably don't wanna run an engine on it. But we could use it for cooking and lanterns and anything that would require basically a propane. Right now it's just having a problem staying cool. You can see I've got a rag on the pipe. I'm dousing it with water. As long as the gas gets cool, it's flammable. As this pipe heats up, it's going to get less and less flammable with the gas because the temperature is too high. Once the temperature drops, it becomes dense and a lot more flammable. So there it is, burning without the torch. We now have a nice clean gas being produced by our wood stove. Right now you can see some of the paint still burning off of it when it's completely set in and won't smoke any longer. 
and right now you're watching wood gas burn. I just thought I'd walk you up real quick. Show you our wood gas flame. It's a little difficult to see from a distance. I got the torch here in my hand. Let me turn that off. So there you go, folks. Nice and clean. Look at that. That's all coming from our gasifier. Glowing pretty red down inside that hole. So there you go. Once again, we can walk down to the end, and that whole time, our wood gas torch is just burning away. Until next time, folks, I hope you enjoyed. This was Mr. Teslonian.